So you wouldn't believe it, we've made it to 50 episodes, how cool is that? I can't believe that myself. Thank you for watching, thank you for sponsoring us, it's been awesome. Anyway, we thought just for an interesting celebration, we'd come back down here and check this fridge out. Because of course, everybody remembers that on Thrill Fest that this fridge was pretty crazy. I don't know whether there's going to be any honey in there for us to borrow some. We're not going to take very much because it's getting towards the end of uh, summer here. And so these girls are going to need this to get through the winter. But we'll, yes, we might collect a little bit. And if we happen to get a little bit and you want to get your hands on a bit of it, you can go to our webpage and check it out. Yeah, well, let's see what we've got, eh? Hello, peoples. Instead of being a Electrolux, she'd be a Honeylux. Let's have a look. Wonder what we're going to find, peoples. Probably nothing. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hard. We've got to get a different holding piece of machinery. Hang on, I'm just going to get the jimmy bar so I don't wreck this. But this might be a better idea. Oh, there we go. Sorry, girls. Welcome back, Mr. Bush B Man, they said. They said, Oh, we missed you. We did. We've been working hard diligently through the summer. <sighs> My gosh, ladies. What are you doing? Are we ready? Yep. Have a look at that. Bloody hell, he said. <laughs> Very high tech. We've got ourselves a bucket. We're going to catch a little bit of this honey off the door. Maybe just a little bit here, so if we get, I mean, I don't know, we'll see how much stores I've got. Like I said, I don't want to be too greedy on them. But we don't, we'll come back here and harvest this again, I reckon. But <laughs> for today, we're just going to get a little bit of a tickle. Check out the girls, they're all happy on the door. See, they're pretty chilled out. They're just having a bit of a hangout. So they're not really, and they're not really buzzing us real bad. Like they're not actually attacking us. I got myself a trusty Barbie, mate. I, thought, I couldn't find me paint scraper, so I thought, oh, well, I got a couple of these. This will work. Well, it'd have to be natural honey, wouldn't it? Oh. <laughs> Do you reckon we should make a fridge hive? That'd be kind of cool, wouldn't it? <laughs> we might have to do that. I don't know, they're pretty, look at that. Oh, they've got the nice life. I like this little look, they've got a few extra queen cells here just hanging out for the next swarming season. And then they've even used the racks here. That's so they've built the different layers. And then they're filling up the whole fridge. They've got a few extra layers going down the bottom now. So maybe we do them a favour, we'll make them some room. <laughs> what have we got in here, girls? Well I reckon we just take this little slither here and maybe some of this down here. And then we won't get too excited. Look at these guys are in there. Where the, where the freezer box is, they've put the honeycomb the other way. That's fucking cool, isn't it? I wonder whether that's where Her Majesty's hiding in that little box. Anyway, we don't want to catch her, we want to see if they'll throw a swarm. We brought a little nuke box down with us, so if we're lucky, they'll throw a swarm and we can just take the new girl away and leave these girls here. I reckon we'll just slip through there, I can see what happens. What do you reckon? They don't seem real pissed off with us, which is something different. <laughs> That's just probably why they invented proper removable frames <laughs> for the hives, wasn't it? Oh, look at that. Mm -mm, look at that. Yum, yum, yum. That's nice matured honey. That's been in there for a little while. That's going to be gorgeous. Let's see how it's gone. Oh, shit. You got the lights in trouble. <laughs> see how that's got that nice bit of extra dark capping, so it's been there a while. But that'll be yum. 
just get this one as well, I reckon. I wonder if this extra long hive tool was designed for fridge. <laughs> oh, that's if I can get it up there. Come on, come on, not you come. Oh, shit, got only a little bit. That's a little bit fresher. Mm -mm. Oh, this is gonna be yummy. Oh, we've got half the bit still in here. Cool. There's still some at the back there, but where are that? So there's a little bit in there. Nothing on this side because they're working across here. But this, this here has just got a little bit of nectar in it and that's not ripe yet, so we'll leave that. Just take those little bits and we might take this little bit through here. And then we will not get too greedy because I reckon, like I said, the season's sort of harshened up here a bit at the moment. I don't know what that is, there's a freaking sheep tag. Oh dear, here's a bit of a trip down memory lane. There's an old wooden clothes peg. How clever was that? You get the peg and you cut the little slit and then you can slip it over your clothes wire or your bit of string in the backyard. Golly gosh, eh? Yeah, we've come a bit far from there. <laughs> no, how the fuck am I going to get that up there? <coughs> They're in the cooling duct. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, God. It's a sticky festival. I wonder what's hiding under there. I don't think we're going to worry about that, though. They don't talk about using every occupied space. Talk about they haven't wasted any space. They've even gone here in the cooling pot. This is kind of groovy. I went, I'm, I'm thinking this is all brewed here because this is like the nesting part. And this is just their storage, so. We'll just, we'll just take a little bit of this so you guys can have a little taste of what total natural Riverland honey is like. This is kind of cool, isn't it? You wouldn't get it much more. Oh, shit. <laughs> much more natural than that. Yummy. I don't think we want to be too greedy because like I said earlier on it's starting to drift into winter here so we'll leave these girls with some stores and then when we come back in the spring we could collect a little bit more off them I reckon and hopefully like I said hopefully if they come out of the winter strong and they throw a swarm in the spring we might get them in our little box and perhaps we can take these genetics with us which would be pretty awesome I reckon because look at that they haven't even bit, they haven't even tried to bite me so we better put them back to bed and leave, leave them alone. We probably was a bit mean coming here and this, all this, but I'll smoke these girls off the door so we don't crush them. I don't think Mr. Electrolux would have had this in mind for his fridge. This shit, this shit was meant to keep things cool, not warm. But, but anyway, the girls have found a very nice home. And like I said, I reckon we might actually make a fridge. We might make a fridge bee box. What do you reckon? That'll... Do you reckon we'd put anybody out of business if we created the fridge bee box? <laughs> Bloody be expensive to ship, wouldn't it? Here we are in the morning, back here. We didn't get around to doing this last night because we were a bit bloody stuffed after we got back from the fridge. But anyway, we thought we'd put it in our little decantering pot. Well, it's actually the decapping pot, but anyway, it doesn't really matter. It'll serve its purpose. We've got a little bit of fridge honey happening here. Gonna be pretty cool, I reckon. Something different. I don't think too many people would be able to sell you some Bush Bee Man fridge honey, would they? Imagine that. I suppose we'll have to have a special label. Bush Bee Man fridge honey. So when it's on your table, how cool is that going to be when your mates come around and they go, what the hell is that? And you go, that's some cool shit ass Mally Bush Bee honey from a fridge, no less. So if you want to be part of our little group and sponsor our Patreon page for, say, well, I don't know, 10 bucks a month for three months, we'll send you a jar of this cool Bush Bee Man fridge honey and you can impress your mates around your kitchen table. 